my wife into playing golf twice while we're down here. So we're going to Emerald Bay this morning. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and This is our adventures. to get 18 in looks great as of right now no rain in sight as of right now i don't know there's no wood to knock on she's a little upset because she says y'all were going to see us in the same clothes twice and yeah, we did wash them in between so just so y'all don't know make her feel better we're headed that way y'all come come along and we'll give you a little thoughts on what we think of the course lost our mind going to the other place because this place ended up being the same price. You got to put my hat in there. And we both got free hats. You got Titleist. And he's gone to Harvard now. Well, we're paired up with somebody. I'm not a fan of playing with people. <laughs> Just because I'm so embarrassed about it. But it is what it is. Up. I hit this tree, there's no telling where it's coming from. <laughs> hey, punched it Super cool guys, um, very interesting, good conversation. So we got to talking with them and trying to keep from holding up play. So didn't want to do a whole lot of video. Thought I'd bring you the review now. Price you could not beat. Quality of the course for me and Kelly both it was 120 something dollars. Plus we got a free hat each one of us. And now I am officially a Harvard alumni. practice facility. We did just aerate the course so all the greens were just recently aerated. A little bouncy but not not terrible. Uh, what you'd expect for it to be aerated. I really enjoyed the course. Didn't shoot my best. I shot an 81. Pretty open course. GPS on the carts were very easy to use. Uh, gave you all the information you needed to which the hazards come into play. What very much hidden hazards out there. I think the course is normally a little more expensive than what we paid. I think they may have lowered it because they just aerated the greens. By far, I would pick Emerald Bay over Seascape. Seascape, the people there were super nice. No cart beverages making the rounds on the cart. Whereas Emerald Bay, you had a cart lady coming around selling just about any type of drink you want. Well, it is our last night in Destin. We leave and head out tomorrow. It has been such a pretty week and especially way better than what we thought that it was going to be because a tropical storm had developed in the Gulf and it was supposed to be like 70% chance of rain every day. And we really only had one 
day, the day, the first day that we played golf, that it somewhat like barely sprinkled. We've had some rain showers, but I mean, they weren't very long. So we have been lucky. We are headed over to the Columbia Outlet Mall. Um, you know, it's 90, well, it's, uh, well, it's 90 degrees outside and we're going to look at snow jackets. I found one that was normally like $355 for 30 something dollars. So we're gonna go see if we can find Rachel one. And then we're gonna go try to find a place to eat that the dogs can go. Y'all ready to go eat? Yes? All right, let's go. All right, we came down here to the Harbor Walk. The traffic, it is, everything is just packed. I mean, like, whew, busy. So we're gonna go try to eat, I think, in Harry Cheese. It's a dog-friendly place that's here at the marina. This is a cute little area. It's got like little shops and a bunch of different restaurants. All right, let's go find something to eat. I'm hungry. No hairy teas. They're closed due to equipment failure. But they do have the doggy water and doggy bones out for the dogs. supposed to be really good we hadn't eaten there in years but we had we had to eat outside with the dogs because it's the only place that we had since the Perry Tees was closed and they have a really limited menu like burgers or burgers or burgers and it was not very good the appetizer which was the firecracker shrimp or something like that it was really good but the burgers not very good Come here. so now we have got to uh, head back to the camper i'm gonna start kind of gathering up a few things since we're gonna leave in the morning headed back home sad our trip is done and we don't know when we're gonna go on another trip but we'll plan something soon i want to say thank you to all our new family that has subscribed lately please like and subscribe so you don't miss any great adventures till next time before i end the video we're packing up this morning and i wanted to tell you that this little thing ended up working out really good. The only thing that I'm gonna add, I had some of these command hooks that I was put my jewelry on while we were here, you know, just so you could grab it. But I think I'm gonna make a cute little board with some jewelry hangers to add to this. And I am gonna attach this. It rode fine, but it kept wanting to tip off when I was pulling my makeup in and out. So that's the two modifications that I'm gonna make to this but I just wanted you to know. Now, it's the end. Does your husband ever say that we're not leaving till later and then at six o'clock, he's like running around frantic? Mm -hmm.